Hello everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We are so excited to be showing you a studio villa here at Disney's Boardwalk. If you are new to our channel, I am Jenny, part of the Neverland family. If you haven't yet, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you get notified when new videos like this pop up. All right, let's go take that tour. door the first thing that we noticed walk when we walked in was this little cubby right here absolutely love this little extra space for families with strollers lots of luggage it is it's out of the way um, so that way we, we're gonna be putting our stroller right in here we have the bigger stroller this trip um, so yeah plus a mirror now one thing that they are lacking that I really wish they would have put maybe a little ledge right here or some hooks, but it's still still very useful right over here. Now the studio villas do come with a little kitchenette and they do come with a coffee pot, microwave, toaster. Now we are lacking some things because yes, there is a pandemic going on. Um, so it's not as glorified as we're used to. Also, it comes with a fridge, a little mini fridge it does have a little freezer right in here so you can put a few things it's about an arm's length deep so you can put a few things in the freezer we have some things that are going to go into the freezer a lot of counter space i like that uh, we stayed at beach club the last two trips and we're lacking a lot of space here um, i like the amount of space i even like this bag splash it's beautiful it's marbleized it looks very updated and refreshed um, down here underneath the sink paper towels trash and recycle and again during the pandemic this is 2020 rats uh, plastic wear plastic wear now I remember getting in the studio villas we did have like a couple of regular coffee cups coffee mugs uh, we don't have any of that it's all wrapped individually like your coffee cups some regular drinking cups paper bowls and paper plates and I'm sure we have some plastic wear. Let's check right up in here. Lots of storage. I like the amount of storage there is um, between the ledge and the two cabinets up here. Extra paper towels and here we are right down in here. Oh look, comes with your um, little coffee creamers, sugar, can opener, bottle opener. That's, that's important. <laughs> and another bottle opener for beer and wine here very very important i feel um, and then your individually wrapped plastic wear put that right back up and it does come with coffee if you need more coffee than that like we do you can always ask for some from housekeeping and they'll gladly bring you as much as you need along with the creamer and sugar and pretty much anything else they're really really good about that Moving on over to the bathroom. It does remind me a lot of Old Key West. If you guys remember our Old Key West walkthroughs. It has the same decor in it, only it's white. Over at Old Key West, it was um, blue. That's my bag, that doesn't come, but look at the storage. This is a big duffel bag and it fits all the way back in there. So if you are traveling with a lot of toiletry items or even if you have extra bags that don't, you don't have a spot for, they can fit in there. Extra toilet paper and tissues, another big cabinet. Also pull out drawers that actually are functional <laughs> with your hair dryer and a little attachment there. And I think this, there's nothing in here. Yes. And again, a good amount of space for all your stuff. I like to have my stuff sitting out. And <laughs> so that way it's easily, I can easily grab it, like my makeup and just a lot of my face wash and anything that I really tend to grab a lot. Instead of putting away, I like to have it like setting out. It may not look good, but it's convenient. I really like this mirror, the details of the mirror. 
very bubbly. It kind of reminds me of, you know, something that you would see at Beach Club. Very, very nice. I like that. Um, to the side. Oh, and something else that's kind of important, <laughs> especially for us ladies. The regular mirror and the zoom mirror right there. And it does light up. Very nice. Um, off to the side is your closet. It does have your standard safe. Now it doesn't have the, um, the regular bigger safes that I like. It has the wall safe that kind of gives you a little, little less room in here, but it's good for iPads, computers, keys, small little things, wallets that you wanna keep safe. And then back in here is the ironing board, your iron. Um, your little suitcase rack. I don't see a crib in here. However, if you do need a crib, you can call up and request a, a crib. I know Disney's really good about that. Extra pillows and blankets and more extra pillows and blankets. Um, it's kind of hard to get into back there. Uh, so if you have a lot of things hanging up here, it's gonna be kind of hard to get to that, that ironing board and iron which I'm kind of shocked that they didn't just put right here. A little bit more convenient, but yeah, you're gonna have to reach for that. I know a lot of you are asking who irons on vacation. We do. <laughs> okay, and then behind this door is your bathroom. Again, updated. I like the subway tile. Beautiful tile down here. Very, very updated, very clean looking. I like it. Towels with a towel rack. Um, right now, what I'm seeing is Boardwalk does not have the um, the body wash, shampoo, and conditioner on the wall. You have your own. I don't know if that's something that Disney's taking away because of everything that's going on or it's just not something that Boardwalk is doing, but you have your own little toiletries over here, bar soap, shampoo, body wash, and conditioner, and then the shower. And then your little clothes rack where nothing dries. You can hang up your bathing suits if you really wanted to. Uh, but nothing dries. We've, we've come to find out that nothing dries in, <laughs> in these rooms. Save energy. That's one thing I do notice is a lot of the lights are on when you, when you walk in. Turn those off and save some energy. Walking in, I want to point out that there is a fan. For those of you that like to sleep with a fan like me, there is a fan. Um, very simple bed, no extra bed liners, bed runners. Um, they're taking all of that off, keeping it simple. You got a queen size bed with an overhead light and a mirror right here on the wall. No storage under the bed. This um, like Polynesian stands out to me with there's a lot of storage under the bed and I like that to get your suitcase out of the way and hidden. Uh, they don't have that here. Your little dinette which does turn down into a Murphy bed, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Um, another little vanity set over here, is that what you wanna call it, a vanity, or um, another little extra closet for your clothes. Let's open this up. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's nice, drawer space. So you have one, two, three, four drawers that's here. Just to give you an idea how deep they are, one and a half of my hands <laughs> deep. There's a good amount of space. There's there's a good amount of space if you have a lot of clothes or a lot of um, a lot of other people's clothes. You know, if you have a big family, because this does sleep five. This room, um, but yeah, you have extra storage right in there. Oh, and the soft clothes. I always it's the little details that I love. The soft clothes. Well, that one didn't do it. There, there it goes. <laughs> And then right now our pillows are up here. Um, the, bringing our own pillows is not a COVID thing. It's just a comfort thing for us. But then, you know, in the back of our head, it's just a little extra safety for us. But because we drive, we are able to bring our own pillows and some of the little luxuries that we are used to having at home. Um, but you have a lot of space up in here as well for any other bags. Um, my equipment will probably come up here, my, my camera equipment. Um, like I said, this does pull down. Um, there are no drawers in this. This is just a facade. And this pulls down into a bed. Excuse me, Grogu. Thank you very much, Grogu. <laughs> There's two sets of outlets on the pull down. Two plugs, two USBs, and the same goes for down right over there. Two plugs and two USBs. 
There you go, girl, girl. I'll put you right back there. Heading over here is a little, this is where they used to have the um, table and chairs, the little, little seating area, but now they have this really, I love this chair. I, it, again, it's so silly for some of the things that I love, but I love this chair. Uh, just kind of another little space to sit. Um, you have a nice little lamp right above you, so if you wanted to read, whatever, nice little area. Mommy and kids want to have a little bedtime uh, story right over here, watch story time that goes on at night over here. The TV does pull out and it does turn. I'm not gonna do that now, but you can see it does pull out and it does turn. Really big TV. Hookups for TV. If any of you are interested in bringing your own Roku. Yep, right back in there. Some hookups back in there. So if you are interested, um, we do sometimes bring, for longer trips, we do bring a Roku or Apple TV. On that you can bring right over here no storage in here but there are you can put something back down in there it's just a nice little table and this does pull out so two here two in the queen and one maybe two small kids we've had the kids both sleep in this because they've liked what they saw um, with the picture and they've slept in there so yeah, maybe six but I didn't tell you that <laughs> so there you go Another little lamp here in the corner. Now to the balcony. That. that is so sweet. I knew it was the monk. That is beautiful. Very I, appropriate. I knew it was the monk because I saw the crown. You did? And I saw the rope. Something that we don't need anymore, but I feel like I should stress you can get um, bed rails. Now, if you need bed, bed rails for up here or if you have co sleepers or whatever, you can request bed rails. That's something that we did a lot. One other thing that I did, um, we did just realize is. Yeah. Um, let me show you. You need to push this button and that button. So you need two people to open that. Once that button's popped and that button's popped, it pops out. But yeah, see, you need the other button. Push it. See, once she pushes that in, it pops out. It doesn't fall down. Um, so that's a nice little safety thing, but it is... Very quiet. That was the room tour. I'm really impressed with the updates. I hope you en enjoyed what you saw. If you have any plans coming to Boardwalk, especially at the studios, hopefully this helped you out. If you have any specific questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. As I can. But I think I showed you pretty much everything. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So you're part of the Neverland family every Thursday. If you guys haven't seen our vlog series from this trip, don't forget to click that little icon up here. I don't know which corner. It's one of these corners and I'll have it down in the description below. Thanks for watching this tour and we'll see you guys next time on our next Disney vlog. I still have to hold the thermostat. <laughs> That's one thing I missed. I think that. That is one thing I, I missed. I think this thermostat was here before the building was even built. <laughs> it's a little vintage. I, I like it. it. It's off. This was the deluxe model at the time because you have cool off and heat well we are in a deluxe studio a high, villa, medium so. and low previously before this you only had medium and low here, no not here options. Look, yeah no this is somewhere between warm this is florida and cool. no that's florida right there somewhere between warm and cool how do you feel uh, i don't know maybe about three dots <laughs> <laughs>